Yes. So all of this is completely up to you. Whether you end up at the Bear County Jail or whether this is done in three months, it's completely up to you. If you continue to use, not going to be good. And what I can tell you is when people have children and I see that you pay child support, that's a good thing. But I'm sure <laughs> your children, if you have any visitation with them, they smell marijuana. They smell marijuana in the home. They smell marijuana on your clothes. That is not good for them because in Texas, the use of marijuana is illegal. Um, just to give you an overall quickly, so this is one that we were, re the court received an extension for a year and judge, you did not want to extend him a year. You wanted to extend him three months, mm -hmm. and, but you wanted to call a compliance hearing. Okay. So Mr. Griffin, yes, I know your issues with fees, mm -hmm. but they're telling me that you're testing positive for marijuana. Yes, ma'am. So if you're drug tested today, what are the results going to be? Positive. So do you want to be revoked? No, ma'am. Then you need to stop using marijuana. Yes, ma'am. If you were not using marijuana, this probation would have been done. So how often are you using? Daily. All right. So we're going to extend you. And this is what I want. We're going to extend you for three months. You better stop using. Yes, ma'am. And probation, I'm going to want him tested for levels. And you're going to do 90 sober support meetings in 90 days. You understand? Yes, ma'am. And... Why are you being extended? Why do you think you're being extended? Because you're compliant. Yes. So all of this is completely up to you. Yes, whether you end up at the Bear County Jail or whether this is done in three months, it's completely up to you. If you continue to use, not going to be good. And what I can tell you is when people have children and I see that you pay child support, that's a good thing. But... I'm sure your children, if you have any visitation with them, they smell marijuana. They smell marijuana in the home. They smell marijuana on your clothes. That is not good for them because in Texas, the use of marijuana is illegal. And that's sending a message to them that it's okay to break the law. And the last thing they need is to have a parent who's going to the Bear County Jail because they can't follow the rules. And then if you can't follow the rules, how really can you teach them to follow the rules and why it's a good thing to do? Do you understand? Yes. All right. Uh, Ms. Abrams, is there anything else? Um, Judge, how would you like to address the community service hours in the parenting class? All right. You need to complete that parenting class. And if you complete the parenting classes, then the community service hours will be deemed satisfied. But you need to start on those those parenting classes. Why haven't you started? I had did a I looked up a, a parenting class on Google. I didn't know it was a certain one that I had to do until I brought it to my probation officer and she told me she gave me a card and she said that was the one I was supposed to do and it was eighty five dollars and I haven't had the eighty five dollars to pay for it yet. Okay. Well, Miss Abrams will tell you maybe of some more parenting classes that are maybe less expensive. So she'll go over that with you. All right. Yes, ma'am. And obviously that parenting class didn't work. Because if it did, you would know that you're supposed to be following the law so that your children can look up to you. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Do you want your children to be proud of you? Yes, ma'am. All right. Then that's what you need to do. Okay. And stop yeah. thinking that the Chicago Bulls are going to be doing anything. <laughs> they could. I'm a Chicago Bulls fan. Judge Hopton, do you want him to test a pull um, we'll test him to get day to get a baseline. And then do you all want to test him every two weeks? All right. So they're going to test you for a baseline. They're going to test you every two weeks. If those levels go up, what's going to end up happening is a warrant is going to be issued for your arrest. You're going to be taken into custody. If you don't bond out, you're going to come over in orange at the box. And then you're going to tell me why you can't stop using marijuana. You have a choice to make. Do you potentially want to go to Bear County Jail? 
If the answer is yes, continue to use marijuana. If you don't, stop using marijuana. You have any questions? Amen. Is there anything else that we can do for you so that you'll be successful? All right, good luck to you. You're welcome.